What is really cool about this study is done in regard to actual fish oil capsules or fish oil supplementation through capsules, not necessarily fish oil from dietary sources such as fish. So this is a study which is actually done in regard to the supplement itself. Let's look at the study. The study is entitled Omega-3 Fatty Acids from Fish Oil May Aid Healing After Heart Attack. What it actually should be worded is may aid survival after heart attack. Citation title, effect of omega-3 acid ethyl esters on left ventricular remodeling after acute myocardial infarction publishes this August 2nd, 2016. Let's look at the study parameters because they're important. Study parameters are as follows. It is funded by the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute of the National Institutes of Health. The study participants were not animals. They were humans, otherwise heart attack survivors. Involved 360 heart attack survivors, half were given a high dose omega-3 fatty acids, and the other half given a placebo. The administration, and this is important, was four one gram capsules of fish oil per day, usually taken with meals. The length of the trial was six months. The materials, as stated, was an EPA DHA combination fish oil, and the placebo was just basically corn oil. The results, which I'll explain a little bit more in a few seconds because it may not translate immediately to as you're reading these numbers to you. Participants experienced a 5.8% reduction in left ventricular systolic volume index, which is actually pretty phenomenal. I'll explain what that means in a second. And also, on top of that, a 5.6% reduction in basically scarred connective tissue or fibrosis, which ironically, the people on the placebo unfortunately experienced increased scarring as opposed to those taking the fish oil, which actually had a scarring reduction. All right, let's look at the study itself. They said, given heart attack patients, a high dose of omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil dated for six months after a heart attack, improve the function of the heart and reduce scarring in the undamaged muscle, as we just stated. The heart shape and function can be altered after a heart attack, a condition known as post-heart attack remodeling, and is linked with poor patient outcomes, it could lead to heart failure. Therapies can improve healing of the heart or prevent uh, adverse remodeling are scarce until this one study in regard to fish oil. Now here are the numbers. After six months, it resulted in a 5.8% reduction in left ventricular and systolic volume index. I'll explain what that means more in a second. And also a 5.6% reduction in a measurement of scarred connective tissue or fibrosis which is not good. And keep in mind, the fish oil group had a reduction. The placebo group did not. So what does that mean? All right, so the researchers wanted to give a comparison. So what they brought up was something, another trial called the SAVE trial, which was done in regard to an ACE inhibitor, which resulted in a 4% reduction in left ventricular and systolic expansion. And that 4% reduction from the ACE inhibitor resulted in a 45% reduction of patient mortality. The fish oil obviously resulted in a 5.8%. ACE inhibitor, 4.4%, uh, uh, sorry. Fish oil, 5.8%. So that 4% resulted in a 45% reduction in patient mortality. So if the numbers remain constant, the Y intercept is at a zero, and the slope remains at a constant rate of 1% uh, reduction in left ventricular output, results in 11.25% reduction in mortality. If that slope remains constant, which chances are it doesn't, but if it does, that means that fish oil after six months will result in a 65.25% reduction in patient mortality. That is incredible, incredible results if that slope remains constant. In any case, it's at least extremely promising. Also, the researchers brought up a side note. The reason other omega-3 fish oil supplementation trials may not have bode as well was because those people that ran those trials did not look at the animal study dosages in regard to conducting their trial, meaning this. They didn't use enough fish oil to get adequate results. So what these guys did in this trial is they used four times more fish oil. The, the amount that was representative was, that was done in animal trials, and I can speak English here, as opposed to those other guys who used way too little and didn't get results anywhere near as promising as these professionals did. Again, this is Ralph Turchano, 
signing off. I hope you find this information promising, if not a little complicated, but I hope I cleared it up a little bit for you, at least in the end. And as always, thank you very much for listening, and I will see you once again next week. For our channel, signing off. Catch you later on. Bye.